How One Family Raised Three Geniuses as an Experiment Laszlo and Clara Polgar raised three chess champions. Laszlo made a unique marriage proposal to Clara. During their courtship, he explained his education theory. He believed it could turn any child from any background into a genius. But Laszlo had no children of his own. He asked Clara to marry him and to try the experiment together. She agreed. They had three daughters, Zsuzsa, Sophia, and Judith. And in the late 1960s, the experiment began. They considered different fields to train the girls in. They chose chess, a male-dominated game. They started educating the girls around age three. By age six, their training became specialized. The Polgar's methods were controversial. They clashed with school authorities over homeschooling. But the criticism only brought the family closer. The girls said learning was fun. They were curious about chess. They were never forced to play. Their parents made the game playful. The apartment was filled with chess boards, books, and puzzles. The girls were immersed in chess. One night, Laszlo found Sophia in the bathroom. She had a chessboard on her knees. He told her to put the pieces down and go to bed. She replied, Daddy, they won't leave me alone. The experiment worked. Juja won her first competition at age four. By 15, she was one of the top women chess players. She became the first woman to earn the Grandmaster title. Judith became a Grandmaster at 15. At the time, she was the youngest person ever to do so. Sophia earned enough points for the title, but she was never granted Grandmaster status. Some say politics got in the way. Still, she ranked sixth among the world's best female players. Laszlo wanted to push the idea even further. He planned to adopt three children from a third world country. A billionaire offered to fund it, but the plan never happened. Still, their original experiment had already made its point. 